worldstandardaudio.com and here we have Miss Liza Quinn. Thank you so much for coming by, Liza. Thank you for having me. Um, well, Liza, since we have you here, we know you have a very busy schedule. I know you took time to come and speak with us and, uh, you know, uh, uh, let us know and give us some of your wisdom to other independent artists out there that are also trying to move ahead in their career. Uh, well, first we saw that you actually have a single coming out right now. I do, with a new project, it's a duo project with another singer-songwriter named Robbie Elias. Okay, Robbie Elias, okay. I'm sorry, I'm going as loud as I can. I have a little laryngitis. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just take a shot. It's been, I've been on tour. Um, it's been a little rough, but I'm hanging in there. Uh, and it's called Me Veo En Ti. It's uh, the first Spanish single I've had in a really long time, so I'm really excited about it. Okay, awesome. And um, have you always enjoyed the art of music? I mean, what's, what's the thing that got you passionate about doing music? Uh, well, yes, always. I've always enjoyed the art of music. Um, the thing that got me passionate about it I don't know, I got passionate about it really early. I just remember being a little kid and like doing my first couple performances. Well, I was always eager to do it. And then once I got on stage, um, seeing what response you could get from a crowd of people and that kind of you were in charge of that domain and and uh, that you had the ability to kind of generate that energy between people, I thought was just one of the coolest things I could ever experience. And I've been doing it ever since. Okay, okay. Um, and Liza, let me ask you another question, okay? Um, since you just recently came from tour, what do you think about when you're actually performing? Um, well, it depends. Like, like r currently, um, I'm on the road with another artist with his band. Um, I've done that before. I've set back up a lot and stuff like that. I've also worked with my own bands, been by myself, with other singers, and a lot of different scenarios. Um, so it's different every time. I think there's a different thing running through your head when it's your own show, because I'm not only thinking about, like, the crowd and how they're feeling, but I'm also thinking about everything around me, about what the band's doing and, and the whole thing. There's just kind of like a lot of stuff going on. Um, the main thing I try to not do is get in my own head and kind of like mind trip myself, okay. but be present in the moment, um, be 100% honest, and uh, really just think about the crowd, but right. on a level that it's not, that I'm not so focused on them that I'm not being true to myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I think it's just about finding the balance. You know, okay. thinking about like what they're feeling, what you're feeling, if the energy with the band is good, you know, I, I think that's worth that. Okay, very nice. A little very nice. Wow, that's something, you know, that's something uh, I respect that. I really respect that. Thanks. Um, okay, this is another question that I'm sure the uh, viewers would definitely want to know. Um, who are your inspirations? Uh, I have a lot of inspirations. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that one of my favorite artists and songwriters of all time is Lionel Richie. Wow, <laughs> Lionel Richie. <laughs> You're pretty much guessing what era I grew up in. Um, <laughs> I have no shame in we're that. We're not gonna let that. We're not gonna let that be known in this interview. I don't care. I have no shame. No shame. I'm proud of where I'm at right now. Um, no, I, uh, Lionel Richie has been a huge influence. Uh, Michael Jackson, of course, Prince. Um, you know the Madonnas, the Janet Jacksons, the, the true artists that kind of like that were not only you know not only hardcore songwriters and musicians, but but also, you know, people that, that put a level of entertainment on the map that I aspire to. Um, I believe in the purity of just kind of like being able to sit at a piano and, and, and write a great song and, and communicate with people and, and just sing a tune. And I also believe in the magic of entertaining, in costume and light, in, in making people feel an experience that, that they'll go home being like, wow, I think I just I experienced feel. something really cool. So I, I, uh, I've been influenced by all those things. So I'm inspired by those people. I love artists like Music Soul Child. Um, you know, there are a lot of new school artists that I think are great that are very inspiring too. You know, so I think it comes from a lot of places. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, another thing. Do you have any celebrity crushes? I know it's a little awkward right now. <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble for saying it? <laughs> but you know, it's it's, it's a I'm allowed, man. right, to have celebrity crushes. I mean, everybody has a celebrity crush. I have like a long time one, which is Josh Brolin. Okay. Which was, he was like the older brother in Goonies. Oh my god, yeah, that movie, the, uh, <laughs> wow, that's an awesome movie, of course, by the way. Channing Tatum, I'm not mad, I wouldn't kick him out of it. Oh yeah, Channing Tatum. <laughs> I think those are my celebrity crushes. Okay, we're gonna get away from the celebrity crushes right now, let's move along. Um, okay, and um, I have another question, we're gonna have about one or two more questions and then we'll wrap it up. I know you're in a rush and, you know, you have a lot no, of things going on. No, I always have on. time for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I really feel thank you so much. Um, okay, what's the best advice that you feel that was ever given to you? 
from a mentor, uh, from another celebrity, from an artist, or just, you know, a good friend, family? What's the best advice that was ever, that you feel that was ever? Uh, the three things that come to mind. One was um, from a longtime voice teacher that was a huge influence on me um, as a singer. And uh, she told me, I, I used to be so, so just giving everything on stage and just to a degree that was almost unhealthy to the point where I would just work myself to the ground and make myself sick physically. Um, and she told me one time, give 95% to the crowd and save nine, and save 5% for you because you have to take care of yourself. Absolutely. Um, I thought that was great advice. It, at the time, it didn't make, make sense, sense to me because I was like, whoa, what do you mean? I want to give 150. Of course you do, but there's that little something for your soul that you have to stay true to yourself and have to take care of yourself. That's right. Um, also, am I babbling too much? Are we running out of time? No, no, that's fine. Okay, and fine? <laughs> thing number two is, uh, was uh, an, an, an unknown songwriter producer who told me, what are you thinking so hard about? It's pop music. <laughs> <laughs> now that's <laughs> real. It's pretty funny. And, and not to degrade pop music, because I think one of the hardest things you can do is write a great pop song. So uh, that's not in any way belittling. But I thought it was funny because I just think sometimes we trip over ourselves and we overthink things. Right. So that's how I took that advice, and I thought it was pretty funny. So and you heard that, guys. Just keep it simple. Okay? <laughs> keep it Don't simple, go too crazy. Thing. Exactly. Well, sometimes okay. the hardest thing to do is say the right thing in a simple way. So that's good advice. Wow. Um, and then the last thing uh, I would say was um, I worked a long time for Emilio with Stefan and, um, as a songwriter, and he would always give me a lot of little gems. But uh, two things he said was always surround yourself with a great team. Make sure that you have people around you that are good at what they do. Right. Um, I don't think any one person can do anything by themselves. Right, you need a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> also, uh, you know, he said you, you you get a little scattered. At the time, I was really young, and I wanted to do everything, and I, I could uh, bend in a lot of different genres. But he said once you kind of click into what works, once you get the formula, it's going to be sky is the limit. And um, I think that's the hardest thing to do when you're doing this for a living. Right. not as a hobby um, is that you know so you can say you, really you want to stay true to your art but you need to you need to find what works you need to not always think about yourself you need to find what works for a mass audience right. if you're going to sell it to them um, stay true to who you are keep the integrity and just of your to work, go off a little bit off but topic on this but it. you can definitely say that you really take this serious this is something serious I don't do anything else it's my life <laughs> you hear that guys <laughs> That's the difference between somebody that does this for fun and tries to do it, and as far as doing this, that's you know actually serious. Like well, you literally. it should always be fun. If you if it, if you can keep the fun in it, you're you're winning the battle. Right. Um, the second it feels like a job, you know, maybe you're not working on the right things. Yeah, because I say that to a lot of artists that you know, there's a lot of independent artists out there that they're trying to pursue this business and be, you know, in entertainment and be singers, songwriters, and sometimes I literally speak to them and they say, well, yeah, I'm just doing this, but, you know, I'm just kind of doing this just for, you know, because I, you know, I just, you know, they're always, there's always an excuse, and I feel that they're not taking this serious, you know, and what separates an actual artist becoming successful is really taking this business serious. I mean, it's fun, but at some point you have to take this serious. Well, I mean... It all boils down to anything, anything you do uh, to be successful at it. it it's, I mean, it, it has to be blood, sweat, and tears. My parents taught me really early that whatever I chose to do for a living, they never forced me to do this, but if I did choose this or whatever, I had to put 150% into it. I had to be the best I could be at it, and, um, and I had to be 100% dedicated. There's no, like, you just, you can't be flailing and you can't be like, Oh, if tiptoey, this isn't a business of tiptoeing. You either do it or you don't. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, we're going to end this uh, with two more. Right. We're just going to have one more. That Oscar one or movie. two more questions. It's going to be very quick. Okay, I know people want to hear this right now. Is is there any advice that you can give to an independent out, independent artist out there that's watching and listening to this right now? Um, yeah, I'd say the main thing is um, focus, put out content. Um, people, you know, it's a curse and a blessing to live in the age of technology that we live in now. 
and the blessing aspect is that you can reach an audience that we couldn't reach before without a big platform. Um, nice. Everything around us is a big platform, so uh, tap into it. You know, don't be afraid. Decide who you are, what the message you want to convey is. Right. That's another great advice. Great advice I got was um, have a point of view. I think that's great advice. Have a point. Of view. Was that was that my was that my phone? No, right? no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a point of view. Right. Say what you got to say. Put the put the work out and and don't freaking give up because Lord knows there are going to be days where you might want to or people that are going to wish you did. Nice. So don't. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is the last question. We're going to wrap up this interview. Uh, what else can we expect from you in the future? Um, well, I hope a lot of things. You know, uh, right now, you know, when you, when you when you do this, you 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 think ahead. Of course, you have a goal. But you also um, take one day at a time in the sense that you're just trying to like get everything done. Ideally, in the future, I, you'll probably see me get more involved with developing other artists, getting more involved with um, mentoring, producing, continuing to write, and just kind of really get involved in other people. I can't be in the front forever. Right. You know, <laughs> I'll sing as long as people are willing to listen to me. But you know, I think you have to think about the future of music too. So awesome. So. Well, thank you so much, Liza, for coming through and, uh, you know, supporting other artists and uh, supporting pleasure. World Standard Audio. Uh, it's really a pleasure having you here. Best of luck And to um, you. we'll definitely invite you for our future events that we're going to be having. Um, you guys get ready. <laughs> You're going to see a lot more of Liza Quinn. You may see her in person if you guys uh, plan on coming to our future events. Uh, again, thank you so much, Liza. Thank you. Thank Check you so out much. LizaQuinnOfficial.com, LizaRaleigh.com for more info. Thank you. You'll post it on your site? Post it on the site. High five. Ha, 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 ha.